Good day everyone. Today this video is to create 1975 pour over coffee using a cloth in 2020. So in the past we used to use a cloth and coffee grinds uh, poured over by hot water. So for this I have uh, some coffee beans, just uh, say three handfuls. I've got a pot. I've got a beautiful muslin cloth okay you can use a cheese uh, cheese cloth uh, a cloth is always very essential because you know you you stop the recycling uh, of a pipe so then i have a cup to um, pour measure the water and then i have a hot water kettle i have a nice uh, mortar pistol for uh, powdering my coffee grinds and i have a nice um, kind of a vessel here with a spatula to roast my coffee beans all right so i will take you through this process very simple and very easy it's time now for us to roast the coffee beans okay these beans are grown in brisbane and uh, in 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 the garden but uh, they have been uh, uh, dried and uh, unskinned and also we have uh, made sure we did not remove the parchment okay so these are just three handfuls of coffee beans this will take say around 15 20 minutes to roast them equally right need to keep uh, continuously rotating them using a spatula right initially during the first five minutes you just try to probably close them close it so you know the heat is inside and you know, Make sure you just keep moving this uh, utensil right keep a good eye on it because you need to keep rotating it okay, in a circular motion so that you don't get the beans uh, burnt out all right you need to play with your flame the next five minutes the first five minutes is okay the next five minutes you play with your flame get it to total um, sit down all right and then you have to continuously use your spatula and keep rotating evenly all right you can stop for some time A small tip here so if you want dark roast you need to make beans darker you want medium roast you need to keep your beans as mild brown as possible okay so, so that's the trick of dark roast, medium roast, right? Just for some information. It's always better to use a flat surface okay, that makes it uh, much easier to roast. Okay, if, if the dish is that way, it's going to be a bit difficult, but it depends on how you manage, how you manage to rotate your spatula continuously, right? You can notice I've not unskinned the parchment of the bean. This is simply because keeping the parchment will allow the bean to be stored for a longer period of time. So that's the trick of not unskinning the parchment. Okay. The parchment is nothing but a skin outside the coffee bean. Parchment can be removed during the hulling and polishing process, but it dep depends on the on the coffee uh, farmer what he needs to do with his beans and how he needs to store it, how he needs to sell it in the market. Okay. This is how actually we used to make coffee in 1975, it's around 45 years before, and now it's changed to you know machines that are motorized powered by electricity you know all this stuff but i'm planning to be just mechanical you know i don't want all this electrical stuff there no wires please no wires just beautiful mechanical energy and the own power of your hands and your mind that can give you this lovely beautiful coffee okay so the last five minutes you need to keep shuffling this way and then think about the 
color you need so I'm going for a uh, medium roast all right so it's time now to start the powdering process make sure you cool them down all right so shift it and make sure you know, it'll be a little bit hot so just be a bit careful you need to make sure they get a bit cool all right just that it all becomes a lovely coffee and now it's time for us to grind okay so a very easy technique just keep rotating the pestle on the motor constantly all around round and round round and round and round you go the round and round you round you go round you go the mulberry bush La 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 Okay, keep going. It'll take you another say 15 minutes, right? Okay, you see, it's all happening. I'm just taking a bit of time. And I told you 15 20 minutes continuous grinding process. Right? Very simple, but you need to develop an interest in coffee and then then you will know how much you will enjoy. So this grinding took a bit longer, more than 15 minutes, because I wanted to get it more, you know, it should be, that's, that's all right, okay. So you need to keep checking it, and now you will see the aroma in your hand, so, or even you can go and have a whiff of the grind, and I can tell you, it's delicious. It is going to be lovely coffee today, for sure. So we are going to make two cups of coffee. So I have now taken the kettle, so one cup, and then I'll do the next cup. So just two cups, heat two cups of uh, water, so you don't have to worry about the measurements. You already have two cups of water, so you can directly pour the hot water in, all right? So that's the second cup in, all right? So you have your measurements accurate, all right? So your two cups of water has to be heated, and it's actually reaching the minimum water level and let's turn it on right so it's time now to place my muslin cloth or cheese cloth which in the past was you know this was the utensil and this was a normal normal cloth and I'll be using this one so that I can you know ensure it doesn't come out right it's better to you know go down a bit and then hold it tight right so as you can see, you know, I'm using the group head or the filter, coffee filter machine filter handle for my measurement. So this is a two cup filter measurement and uh, I made sure I've topped it up. And now I'm going to take this beautiful filter where I've got my two cup measurement and pour it on top. Okay, there you go. Remember, this is for two cups, right? And then just give it a bit of a nice okay so so it's time now to fill the hot water two cups in a circular motion all right just a circular motion okay slow and steady nice circular motion all right all around, all around. Make sure the cloth is tied up well. I put a safety pin because it was a bit loose, but circular motion, two cups going in, all right. Now you can take out the thread that is holding the cloth in place, okay. Take it off gently and make sure, you know, it all settles in well and time for you to lift the cloth, cloth and squeeze the cloth from the inside and to squeeze out as much as coffee as you can so just squeeze out okay just to make sure you get every drop of your valuable coffee all right that's the goal all right squeeze everything so let me explain to you about the cheese cloth i'm talking about it's a multi-purpose cloth made of durable lint free cotton fiber Great for a variety of culinary uses, including making cheese, straining soups and sauces, basting turkeys, 
forming herb and spice bags and steaming fish and pudding. The cheesecloth leaves no unwanted taste so you can enjoy the untamed flavor of your food and drink. Simply cut a size as required. So this is the explanation of the cheesecloth. So you can use a busting cloth or just a handkerchief. To be very honest, the coffee, remaining coffee, goes back to the coffee plant that I'm growing at the moment. So that's a good sign for me. I don't mind. It's like probably some soil, but it gives me a proper pH. Doesn't matter. So I just don't throw it in the bin. So try and wash the cloth, and so you can avoid recycling. You can use this cloth maybe three, four times right in the sun and it's a great value you see this beautiful cloth why should you throw it away yeah this waste of money right clean as ever right it's time now to enjoy this beautiful coffee fresh coffee fresh from freshly ground beans it's a nice medium roast it is going to be delicious and tasty you can add uh, milk if you like. I do love a bit of milk, which makes it very delicious. Okay, some milk, just a bit, right? Just keep it and use it every day, as long as you want. It lasts for a long period of time, as long as you keep it well protected, right? Sealed, okay? And that's, that's sufficient for a month, you see? Beautiful delicious uh, it's it's pure arabica your extra grinds you can store it for you. So let's uh, add a bit of sugar yeah and then uh, give it a nice stir all right it's beautiful coffee is ready enjoy try it at home and let me know how you all go let me taste it okay voila just delicious thanks guys and Enjoy this video, let me know if I could uh, give you some advice, but I can tell you, you will enjoy this uh, pour over coffee using a muslin cloth or, a, or just a standard cloth, all right, or a cheese cloth. Okay, thank you and enjoy your diet.